Welcome to another tutorial on the Bitsgap platform. In this video, we'll see what Bitsgap's DCA has to offer. The DCA bot follows the dollar cost averaging DCA approach that involves spreading your investment over regular, time trades, either buying or selling, to achieve a more favorable average price for entry. This tactic helps to lessen the influence of market movements on the position you've opened. The DCA bot is particularly useful when you're looking to integrate technical indicators in your trades. To start a new DCA bot, click the Start New Bot and choose DCA. On the right-hand side of the interface, configure the bot by selecting your exchange, trading pair, your preferred strategy, long or short, and the amount you want to invest. Backtest the strategy and click Continue and Start Bot to launch your bot in seconds with a default strategy. Otherwise, adjust your settings in Manual Adjustment. Manual adjustment in the DCA bot consists of three sections. Bot settings, position take profit and stop loss, and risk management. Within the bot settings section, you can configure the initial parameters of your DCA bot and allocate your funds between the base order and DCA orders. There are two ways to launch your bot, immediately or by indicator signal. Immediately is the option to go for if you want your DCA bot to start as soon as you've finalized your settings. This will instantly open your position along with all the necessary DCA orders. By indicator signal allows your bot to commence trading based on specific indicator signals within the chosen time frame. If you select this option, there might be a delay as the bot waits for the appropriate signal to enter the market. During this waiting period, your bot is started but remains in a pending state, ready to act on the first signal. The section labeled Combined Signals Last 30D provides insight into the frequency of signals that have been produced by your selected indicator over the chosen time frame in the previous 30 days. Next up is the base order amount and type, where you'll determine the initial position size. You also need to choose between two types of orders for opening your DCA bot, limit or market. A limit order will establish the position at a predetermined price and may cause the bot to begin with a delay, as it will be placed at the best available buy or sell price in the order book at the cycle's start. Conversely, a market order will execute the position immediately. Following that, you'll configure the averaging orders. These are the DCA trades that will help to even out the purchase and sale price of the asset and increase the position's size. Here, you can specify how your investment is divided across the planned number of averaging orders. Averaging orders amount is the total investment allocated to your DCA orders. Averaging orders quantity is the count of averaging orders you wish to place. And averaging orders step is the set percentage gap between each averaging order. The active order limit feature enables you to restrict how many active averaging orders are in play simultaneously. By doing this, only a subset of your DCA orders are initially placed and entered into the order book when the bot starts. The amount and step multipliers are designed to enhance the efficiency of your DCA bot's averaging process. The amount multiplier increases the investment size of each subsequent averaging order by a specific coefficient. For instance, if the multiplier is set at x1.3, each subsequent DCA order will be 30% larger than the previous one. The step multiplier incrementally widens the spacing between the averaging orders, creating a larger grid that reduces the frequency of trades if the price continues to move away from the initial order. For example, with a multiplier of x1.3, the distance to the next DCA order will be 30% greater than the distance to the previous one. Next up is a take profit, which triggers a sale when the price change reaches a specified percentage. There are four distinct methods to configure your take profit strategy. By average price, by average price plus indicators, by base order price, and by base order price plus indicators. For instance, if you choose to calculate your take profit by base order price plus indicators, your trade will close when the indicator signal is triggered and the price has risen above the minimum profit threshold set from the base order price. You may also choose to activate the trailing take profit TTP feature which allows you to follow the price upward instead of closing the order immediately at the take profit level. This ensures you can capture the maximum profit from the cycle. When setting up trailing take profit, you will define several key parameters. First, 
It's the trailing take profit trigger, which indicates when to start following the price. Then it's the price deviation, which sets the maximum allowable rollback before the trailing take profit is executed. And finally, it's percentage of the reference value for calculating the trailing take profit trigger. For instance, you can choose to calculate your take profit level based on the percentage of average price. This way, your minimum profit level will be calculated from the position's maximum weighted average price. Unlike a take profit order that locks in your gains, you can also set a stop loss to safeguard against mounting losses. The trigger point for a stop loss is derived from the highest weighted average price of the position. It finalizes the trading cycle by executing a market order to buy or sell, depending on whether you're going long or short. You may also activate trailing stop loss. This nifty option lets your stop loss tag along with the price. So if the price climbs or dips by a certain percentage, your stop loss moves by that same percentage. Next is the risk management section that kicks off with the pump dump protection, the built-in bodyguard that pauses your bot from diving into new trades if prices start to skyrocket or plummet. It's a standard feature for all DCA bots, keeping you out of harm's way when the market gets too wild. Moving on, you can enter your preferred profit goals and loss thresholds, target total profit and allowed total loss. Flip these features on, and you get to tell your bot the exact percentage of profit or loss from your initial investment at which you'd like it to call it a day and shut down. Once your bot's profit or loss hits this preset level, the system either sells or buys the necessary coins. To make your DCA bot even smarter, consider setting limits on the price, min and max prices. This defines the range within which you allow your bot to start a new cycle. If the price goes outside this range, the bot won't trade, even if it receives a start signal. Disclaimer. This information is for educational purposes only, and not intended as specific trading advice. Now, let's dive into some key settings to consider for optimizing a DCA bot. First, decide on your strategy, long or short. If you expect an uptrend, go for a long DCA bot and accumulate profit in your quote currency. Conversely, in a bearish market, starting a short DCA bot can help you accumulate profit in your base currency and benefit from the downtrend. Next, customize your bot's start conditions. To increase the trading frequency, you can start each bot cycle immediately after the previous one. Alternatively, let the bot start based on an indicator signal to find a better entry point. A limit base order will open a bot position at a fixed price, while a market base order will be filled immediately at the market price. To avoid any losses due to price slippage, consider the limit order option. Then, adjust the DCA orders and take profit levels based on market volatility. In volatile markets, set a bigger DCA order step and a higher take profit percentage. In more stable markets, opt for a narrower distance between DCA bot orders. For risk management, close the bot under the most favorable market conditions. Enable the Allowed Total Loss option to limit further losses if the trend changes and the price moves in the opposite direction. The Target Total Profit feature can be used to close your trading bot and lock in a chosen amount of return. To maximize your returns, consider reinvesting your profit by increasing the bot investment. Activate the Reinvest Profit option to add the accumulated profit to your bot investment, ensuring all allocated funds work to your advantage. Lastly, regularly monitor your bot and adjust settings as needed to align with market changes for optimal performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for more videos, explore other Bitscap tutorials, and happy trading!